band theory of solids. Isolated silicon atom containing four valence electrons. The valence electrons of an isolated atom of silicon will have certain amount of energy. Similarly valence electrons of another isolated silicon atom will also have same amount of energy. In this manner, valence electrons of several isolated atoms of silicon will have same energies. But when the atoms combine to form the molecule, valence electrons take part in bonding. Electrons of adjacent atoms experience repulsions while the electron of an atom experience attractions from the nucleus of the adjacent atom. When we consider group of molecules like in solids, the electrons in the outermost orbits will have different energy levels. A group of such different energy levels constitute valence band. The electrons in the valence band are loosely bound. When certain amount of energy is given to the electrons in the valence band, they absorb energy and go to the conduction band which has higher energy than the valence band. The energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band is called forbidden gap. For insulators the forbidden gap is more, hence the jumping of electrons from valence band to conduction band is not possible. In the case of semiconductors, the forbidden gap is moderate. Hence the jumping of electrons from valence band to conduction band is possible when the energy equal to the forbidden gap is supplied. In the conductors, the forbidden gap is negligible. Hence the jumping of electrons from valence band to conduction band is easy. Little amount of energy is sufficient to promote the electrons from valence band to conduction band.